We are going to be pinpointing this very carefully as we head into the next few hours and days because it will likely change. Now the latest track a little different from the track that we showed at 11 last night. This is the one from 5 a.m. We'll get a new one coming up at 11 this morning, but you can see it will likely make landfall as a category four, but it's slowing down. And because of that, it'll have more time to move over those warm ocean waters and strengthen even more. It's fairly tightly packed. It is about 325 miles wide as we look at the width of the storm. Hurricane force winds extend 25 miles from the center of the storm and tropical storm force winds extend 105 miles from the center. So as it gets closer to us, as it strengthens, we could see those hurricane force winds and tropical storm force winds extend further out. And so that would impact more of us as early as um, the landfall time. So here we go with the movement moving northwest at 12 miles per hour. It is a category two with winds at 85 miles per hour. There's the track taking it right in to Florida. But again, all of us under the cone, as you see this, it could, because it's slowing down, impact us with a landfall sometime early on uh, Tuesday morning, late Monday, early Tuesday. It's very confusing because we keep seeing this thing slow down. And so in our heads, even when we're out here, let's bring in mm -hmm. meteorologist Candace Campos. We have to keep these numbers straight and these times straight. And a lot of people have been messaging us going, wait, when's the arrival? When? I it's thought confusing. you said it was Saturday. And now it may it's change in our next update. Right. But right now it does look like it would be early on Tuesday morning because right here, this is 2 a.m. Right. on Monday and that would be landfall time. Tropical storm force winds, like you were saying, extend hundreds of miles. So yes. let's talk about your computer models in pretty much agreement that is making landfall somewhere south uh, in South Florida and then curving its way up the state of Florida. So this is going to be a concern no matter where you are in central Florida, inland or coastal, this is still going to be our storm. So let's look at the wind timeline, really the timing. We stop the clock. This is 3 a.m. Just like Troy was mentioning, just because the system is still hundreds of miles, it's still uh, east of the Bahamas. We're still going to be seeing effects from the system. So that is why preparations need to be uh, done and completed by Sunday afternoon. As you see, tropical storm force winds start pushing in uh, the, the yellow shades by 40 mile per hour winds increasing to 75 miles per miles per hour as we progress into Sunday afternoon and into the evening. But again, this middle of the system, the center is still offshore on Sunday, but you can see parts of our viewing area will still be under tropical storm force winds. So let's break out this timeline once again for folks who are trying to figure out when to do things. Watches and warnings, evacuation orders, that will start today and tomorrow. This is the time to finish hurricane preps. You have almost 48 potentially uh, uh, you know, 72 hours here because tropical storm force winds arrive by Sunday afternoon and into the evening for all of central Florida. Major hurricane conditions will be all day Monday, lingering into Tuesday. Uh, and then come Wednesday, we're still talking about hurricane force winds, not as strong as Monday, but it will linger here in central Florida. Flooding will be an issue. So we have about two two and a half days to prep and then three days of impacts. Now let's talk about your local weather forecast for today. Temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler as we pu push ahead over the next couple of hours. You can see scattered showers still on the radar, um, moderate to light showers. Hour by hour forecast 90 will be our high. And as we take you here throughout your next seven days, temperatures will be staying in the upper 80s. More clouds, more storms ahead. This is the time to prepare.